A lot of very good, very big games come in some suitably big ass boxes, take up a lot of space. But that doesn't mean to say that size is everything. Occasionally, some very good, interesting games appear in some very small packages. Samurai Spirit is a cooperative game from Rockstar board game designer Antoine Bowser. It is based on the Akira Kurosawa film Seven Samurai, which, as we all know, is a remake of the famous cowboy film The Magnificent Seven, starring Denzel Washington. You and your friends were playing as samurai warriors hired to defend this village from increasingly more difficult waves of bandit attacks. And the way you fight bandits is by playing samurai blackjack. Let's have a look at Gorobe, shall we? Uh, when you engage an enemy, you have a choice of what to do with it. You can either try and match these symbols on the left-hand side. If you, at the end of the round, you fail to match a hat symbol, you suffer a wound. Fail to match a farm, a farm gets burned to the ground. And if you fail to match a family, well, a family gets horribly murdered. So you'll want to match all of these up as soon as you can. But you'll also want to hit your key eye. Now, this number on the right-hand side shows the combined strength of enemies that you can handle at once. We're currently on seven. So if the next bandit we engage was a number two, there we go, we'd hit nine. That's our key eye. It would activate our special ability. In Gorobai's case, is to just instantly kill the top two cards on the bandit deck, which is very useful. And you also murder the top card on, on the right-hand side of your, of your character board. Then that's zoomed back down there, and we reduce that by four, back down to five. Maths, uh, maths, great. Well, that's great in theory, but things don't always go according to plan in board games, do they? So let's say we were on seven again. There we go, and the next card we drew was, oh shit, it's a four. Uh, that puts us over our limit. We've essentially gone bust like you would in blackjack. So you are now exhausted and every card that you would normally engage from here on in sneaks past you into the village to cause damage to it later. Now as well as your key eye, you also have a special ability printed on the top of your character sheet and you can use that instead of engaging a bandit on your turn. You can also support a character and that means lending your special ability to somebody who might need it more than you do. So what you do is you take your special ability token and you pass it to your mate no oh, shit, that's at the floor. Uh, you pass it to your mate and then they can use your special ability on their turn instead. And special abilities range from being able to engage two bandits at once, or ignoring certain card effects, or even passing cards to other players. And in fact, knowing when to support another player instead of taking a turn yourself can be a key to victory, especially on higher difficulty levels. Court games have to be difficult. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. Say hello, everyone. <laughs> Say hello. Go on, bugger off. Court games have to be difficult, and Samurai Spirit is no exception. Remembering the composition of this bandit deck is extremely important. Remembering the numbers and symbols around these cards. <clears throat> <laughs> Especially on higher difficulties and in later rounds when the lieutenants and then the bosses get added to the deck, making it much more difficult. Don't get too scared though, this game is called Samurai Spirit for a reason. Each character has an animal spirit they can turn into to kick a higher quantity of ass. We've got a Samurai Bear, a Samurai Tiger. A samurai um, raccoon, and um, yeah, but there's no there's no samurai rabbit. Um, why is there no samurai rabbit, Antoine Bowser? Why is there no samurai rabbit? Now your animal side increases the power of your special ability and your key eye. It also increases your threshold and allows you to take on more bandits at once. But you can only get to your animal side by if, if you first suffer two wounds. And you can't turn back into a human, so even though you are more powerful and can do more, you're only ever two wounds away from being killed. <laughs> Hello, Chili. You're only ever two wounds away from being killed. So... <laughs> Hello, mate. Are you happy?
help him. So yeah, as I was saying, you're only ever two wounds away from being killed, which means this is risk reward on a knife edge. It is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so we have your special abilities and your key eye and your animal form and being able to support each other with your special abilities. And when you and your friends manipulate these to snatch victory and save the day, not only do you feel smart, but you feel heroic because this game is tough and it's bloody good. So if a game of cooperative blackjack with samurai bears sounds good to you, then you should probably go out and pick up samurai spirit. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click on that share button, don't let Dice Hard be your little secret. If you would like to support my channel and help to make advertisement free YouTube content viable, a link to my Patreon account is on screen now, as are links to my previous video and to BigRedBarrel.com for those of you who like games, comics, movies and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.